what's up if anybody's here what's going on let me just get my stuff set up so i'm going live because on one of my videos i got some requests to go live this is just something i used to practice on by the way so don't come for me please but yeah last time i asked you guys um what did i ask I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, last time I asked you guys what kind of content you guys wanted to see, somebody said that they wanted to see some live streams. So that's what I'm doing, going live. And I also got some French tip cutters, the V-cuts, and then the regular Frenchies, the smile lines. So I wanted to try those out. I got these from Amazon. So they came with four different types. So I got two V-cut and then two smile lines so i'm gonna try them out never used them well except this one but i never finished it let me see if you can it. so this is it i never filed it down or anything so you can't even see what it was supposed to look like i don't know but we're gonna actually try for real today and try to use them so we're gonna try with the smile lines like the regular franchise and then i want to try with the regular V cuts also just because like I said I never tried either one so I want to try them all right so let me just open this and then eventually you guys might hear some background noise just because I don't know how well this vibe is gonna do I'm gonna watch uh, manifest if you guys watched my last video you know I started watching that I'm always on the first season that video was like two days ago when I posted it or whatever but I'm just slacking, okay? But I'm gonna start watching it. Also, I don't know if there's a chat going on because I can't see. Let me see. Before I get started, I'm sorry, I'm so unprofessional. So unprofessional. There's one thing you can't expect from me, and that's the unexpected. Because I'm an international super spy. Oh, chat is disabled for the live stream. Okay, so there's no chat. I'm so sorry, guys. But we're here now. All right. The live was kind of off. I'm just picking the sizes that I want because I don't want to work with the thumb. They're too big for me. Right. So we got that. I don't know if I'll even be using my drill today just because I really don't want to. But I might just because I might have to. But I really don't want to. Alright. So what I will use is my Young Nails colors because I really never use them. I don't know why, I just never use them, but I love them. So we're gonna use them today. So yeah, that's that. Let me get some tips out. All right, we got our tips. We'll go ahead, cut down, size them, and then we get started. I wish there was a chat, guys. I'm still trying to figure out how the live is supposed to work. So please just bear with me. I told you guys in the last video I wasn't able to go live. And then I found out there was a way that I could go live. And so now I know there's a way. But how to get the chat, that's another thing. So guys, just bear with me. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, we will get through this together. Eventually, once I have a thousand subscribers, I will be able to go live. But until then, we're just going to have to keep figuring it out as we go. And that's okay. This is all a learning process. The nails are a learning process. YouTube is a learning process. So we're all good. These are my nail tips that I use when I practice. I haven't used them on anybody yet. I want to try, but I bought the infilling ones from Amazon. And I really like those. And nobody, nobody wants like a super long set because these ones are quite long compared to the end filling ones. And nobody wants long nails. Everybody just wants short nails. How boring. No, I'm just kidding. 
not boring, but have some fun, you know? But whatever. All right, so with these practice hands, like, I love it because, like, it helps me practice, like, a lot of stuff that I need. So, no, I guess. But then I hate it because the nail pops off. Like, that's not realistic, you know? But what can you expect? I do like my practice fingers better, but the only thing with that is that you get to hold those and maneuver them in any type of way that you want, which is nice to practice, but then when you actually work on real people, it doesn't really help you be prepared for, like, real life, if that makes sense. Because you get to control it however you want. Like, this is better, because, like, it moves like a hand-ish, but, like, then sometimes these pop off, and then you see how this does this? Like, it, um... It gets loose, so I always have to take the apart the hand to get the hand back on. So then, also, since I'm doing this with you guys on this live, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm like new to this, but here's some tips and tricks on how to glue down your whatever, your nail tips to your practice hands, to, the, to these and even the practice fingers. I'm gonna use these. So... I don't know if you guys can see, but this obviously does not fit from sidewall to sidewall. It fits like off. But when you're doing nails on the practice hand, you always want to make sure it's a little bit bigger just so it can stick. What I do is I like to cut them because I just like it straight. I don't like it. So I cut it and then I just hold it there. But because it is plastic, with nail glue, nail glue is meant to stick on to human hands because of our body heat or whatever. And since these practice hands obviously don't have body heat, it's just plastic, it... Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm like losing focus. But since it's not our body heat, it's just plastic, it takes a minute. So even when I do this and get it oversized, you still have to hold it down just a little bit for a couple seconds. At least 30 seconds to be honest, I just hold it down until I feel like I shouldn't anymore. But yeah, you always just gotta hold it down a little bit longer than you would like to just because it is plastic. And like I said, it does react to our body heat. But this is the KDS glue, so I don't think I have to hold it down long. KDS glue is pretty good. I like it so far. I did glue mine down to a penny just because I've seen a lot of like reviews of people saying like the glue is good, but it. Sorry, it gets like. Like, you know how glue clogs up at the tip and then you can never use your glue anymore? That's what happens, and that's why I just glued it there, just to prevent that, because the glue that I had before was brush-on glue, and every time it would spill or fall over, that was the end, like, you couldn't use it never again. So, I like that, where it just stands up, doesn't fall over, it's pretty sturdy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm putting mad pressure onto this now for no reason. Anyways, there, it's stuck on, but... Because it's the KDS glue, that's why it's stuck on there faster than normal. But if you have any other glue, what I've noticed is that it does take a minute for it to glue back on. Or to glue on in general, just because... Um, just because it's not as strong, I guess. The KDS glue is the strongest glue that I've used so far. Well, not even that I've used it. I've seen other people use because I really haven't used it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to file these in a little bit, make them flush, and then I'm going to put a layer of clear on just to make the nails even more sturdier, and then I'm going to cut down a little bit because I don't want the little nails. I want coffin or, like, tapered square. Anywho, I told you guys I was going to watch Manifest, but once I put it on, I thought it was too loud. And like, who wants to hear that background noise? What if I get copyright? And I don't want to deal with that stuff. With that stuff. All right, guys. So what I'm doing, you see, when I do that, like I feel it afterwards. I file because I just want to make sure that it is flush, that you can't feel the nail popping out. Because if you can feel it, to me at least, I feel like it's gonna pop off for sure. And I even do that with real my real clients, but I don't ever use my hand file. I'm only using it because I don't feel like using my e file.
so yeah usually i just use my ink pot for everything just because i find it easier also when it comes to like actually having a client what i've learned for the past couple clients that i have had thank you to them for letting me even practice on them means so much but when i learned like filing i thought was going to be so hard because like doing this and like doing this like just feels uncomfortable when you practice but when you actually like start doing nails it actually gets easier so that's something good to look forward to like it does get easier over time i know some people don't like the small dampened dishes but i actually like them hold on so I'm so sorry. Whoever's watching, hello. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Sorry, sorry, guys. I'm so messy. Ooh. I'm sorry. I have text message from my mom. Seemed urgent. Guys, bear with me. Literally, just give me 30 seconds. I swear. If I'm not back in 30 seconds, you don't have to watch. Okay, if you waited for me, thank you so much. <laughs> it really means the world. Anyways, I'm back now. I'm here. Let's actually get into it. So, this monomer right here, I don't know if I told you guys in the previous video, but this monomer is actually MMA. So, I really only use this monomer when I am, whew, my breath, when I practice doing nails just because, obviously, I'm not going to use that on clients. You can even tell, actually. Look at it, looks purple-ish, it's a purple tint, but it's clear. And this is EMA, and this is dark purple. Like, look, just look at the differences. Dark purple and a lighter purple. And when I pour it into there, it is actually a darker purple. So, whew, that's also something to look out for whenever you start doing nails, or if you are doing nails, look out for that, because unless you wanna use MMA, I know some people prefer MMA over EMA, just cause they think, they find it easier to work with. I personally think EMA actually works better, and I'm not just saying that because I'm a beginner and I want to be like everybody else, but I actually just think that it works better. Like, my my products work nice and buttery and more smooth when I use that. Because when I, um, whenever I use, see, I don't know if you can see this, but it's not moving. And Young Nails is buttery consistency. So yeah, whenever I use um this compared to my ema this stuff doesn't like to move so i can't believe that i was using this the whole time and actually seeing results but it is possible so don't think that it's not but it's just definitely harder to work with what i like to do when i use my mma is i like to have a more wet brush because then i notice it actually has more buttery for me but it's still not ideal because look i have an apex and i'm not trying to get it i'm trying to just have an even nice little layer but there's an apex can you guys see that it's an apex though like this is not what i was trying to go for but i guess this is what we're doing with but even with my clients i like to always put down a clear coat of whoa a clear coat a clear layer of acrylic and that's just to protect the nail if they ever want to get a refill by me or by anybody else is that clear layer that they could just file down to and then they don't have to worry about anything else and i've seen that from natalie carmona i've seen that from a couple different people i know some people do their clear coat or i keep calling it a clear coat but their clear layer and that's just to um, prevent the colored acrylic from staining the nail so i do it for both of those reasons it really just is a preference honestly some people don't do it at all so it's really up to you all right guys i'm really like not having an easy time working with this it's not enjoyable oh my god i almost dropped it but i'm gonna keep pushing through for for you guys if you guys are if you guys are really watching doing it for you i can't see my viewers either 
and we don't have a chat going i'm trying to work these things out but in the meantime please bear with me i know i keep saying that but i mean it and also with these fake hands like you get to move the nail and it's not cool all right so i'm gonna do i don't know if you guys can see my unsteady hand look at how not straight that is can you guys even see that it's not straight but it looks kind of straight in the camera but it's not that straight but who cares we will file it all right we're just gonna do that so i'm gonna file i always if you guys notice i do move my napkin a lot when i file just because i don't i use a, the that napkin when i put acrylic so i don't want that the dust on there because then it's going to get into the acrylic and that's just not cool so the acrylic's not fully dry but i don't care just because i am practicing i really don't care i'm just trying to practice some french shapes do you see how bendy and stuff the nail is the nails which is another reason why i don't use those nails on clients because they're so flimsy like they're flimsy the infilling ones that i have are not that flimsy they're not flimsy at all actually so that's one thing but i don't know if you guys can see this i want you guys to see these things just because like be better for yourself like do you see the lump right here i wasn't trying to create a lump i was just put that there so i can drag it down that's usually what i do with my ema but with the mon the mma it wasn't allowing me to move it was just staying there so that's why we have an apex there or a big lump there because the acrylic i mean the monomer is just not good but honestly i just use it just to practice just because that monomer it's getting kind of pricey. So I don't want to use it just to practice, you know? But, yeah, if you guys have any questions, like, after this video goes live, I'm sure I'll figure out how to get the comments back on so you guys can comment any questions I'm below. And if not, you guys can, you know, um, reach out to me on Instagram or TikTok or even on another video. Just comment down if you have any questions because I'll definitely answer them for you and try to go over them in another video just so that way we can learn together. By far, I'm not a professional at this whatsoever. I'm just learning just like you or if you're not learning you're just watching me and probably judging me no i'm just kidding anyways so what i'm going to use now is i'm going to use speed white and i'm going to use core french pink from young nails all of these from young nails oh i could be using their monomer let's use their monomer i'm you guys can think this is unsanitary but like i said i use it for practice i'm dumping it back in there don't do that for real clients guys no good but I'm gonna just use this. This monomer is so good. It actually smells really nice to me. It's low odor, but it still has the odor, but it smells sweet. So I really like it. But I used it a couple times, so that's all we got. I don't know if you can see how much, but that's not a lot. But we'll see. So what I'm gonna use is the core French pink first. I'm gonna put a nice amount here and then we'll get to it but what i'm gonna do actually is shave down this lump if i can because like it's really not what i wanted music is all we got i could have just had music playing huh let me put some on but I don't want to get copyright. Like, that's my fear. I don't want copyright. But let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm still here, guys. Don't think I'm abandoning. I'm not trying to. All right, the lump is slowly but surely going down. One thing I hate is filing acrylic. It takes me forever, and I hate it. Anyways, let's see why. Sorry, guys. What if I just sing for you? Yeah. Sorry, mom. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh.
I'm about to stop filing just because I hate this. I hate this process of filing. It's the worst. It did go down just a, smat, a smidge, a smidge, a smidge. It went down just a little bit, so that's fine. Let's actually get into it. Alright. So like I said, we're going to go in with our core French pink from Young Nails. Nice and pink. Oh my gosh, what happened here? I don't know if you see, but what the heck? Whatever. All right. Sorry, guys, with the camera angles, sound fresh. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. All right, boom. All right, so we're gonna start with the. The smile line first, we're gonna just use the regular French colors just because. But let's do it, let's see. Um, if you watch Lovely Mimi, she has some nail tutorials or nail classes on her page for free, free info. And she is always saying, pinkies out, pinkies out. That's the that's the key. His pinkies out. And Young Nails is some good stuff to watch, too. I love them. This pink, I thought it would be pinker. So, we'll just put some more layers. But we have something black in there. Let's get that out. But Young Nails also has really good videos. A lot of people do suggest um when you do your acrylic application always clean your sides because it's going to help with your filing and it's so true but let's just i just wanted to be a little bit pinker honestly i could use my eye gel because they're basically the same color i have one color from my gel and it is like a natural pink like this just because I love this color. I don't know why. Also, if you're looking at my young nails thinking, why are they so small? If you've seen my previous videos, these are from my young nails trial kits for their Memorial Day sale. I got them. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Is this one? That's a little too big. We'll use that one, maybe gotta be fast i think we'll use this one that actually looks like a good size i really don't know how to do this though oh shoot we're so not centered but <laughs> guys send help Okay, I think we're getting there. Okay, you guys can't see too well, so I might have to like change up the color that I'm using, just so you guys can see a little bit more. But we do have a little bit of smile line. We're gonna file it and try to shape it a little bit better. And then lesson learned, we are going to use a different color and also lesson learned, make it a little bit thicker so that way we have more to file i can also try doing the frenchie how people do it all over social media and that is by shaping the frenchie themselves so i can try that too i think i'll, I'll try that should i use this brown i never use this brown it's like a caca brown i'm gonna use it just because i never use it and i think it would be funny it's literally like caca like it looks nice it looks like a nice like light brown but it's literally like caca brown but we're gonna try it I'll, I'll swatch it for you so you can see. Doo doo. Should I use that? Look, we'll use this in another video. I don't want to use it because I don't want the white to mess up. I actually want to try to do good so we'll use another lemon blitz 
It's our like coral color. I actually really like this color. Only thing, it marbles. But could be worse. People are dying. So we'll use this color, and but we'll still use our speed white from Young Nails. But if you can tell, it's not even fully full. I use it. I use it quite a lot, but not on clients. Nobody wants this color for some reason. Anyways. <laughs> But as I was saying, lovely Mimi, did I say young Mimi before? Lovely Mimi, she uses MMA, she likes it, but she only uses it in the states where it is legal. If it is even legal, I'm not sure. Anyways. Here's our bead, it looks kind of dry. Let's not use that. I don't know if you've seen that guys, but it definitely does marble. Anyways, we'll try again. It's still a nice color though. Alright, let's try. I don't know if you guys see it marbling, but it definitely is marbling. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really trying to concentrate. i never done this before, but... Seems to me that I pretty much kind of did it. It looks like, um, it literally looks like it's marbles. Anyways. Alright, kind of did it here. I'm not too sure what else to do. This might not be the best, but it also might not be the worst. But I might stop messing with it to let it dry and then file it. But first try trying to shape and it came out pretty nice so that's good what i will do is add a little bit more though on top just just because i feel like we could use some more there okay cool that's how you know air acrylic is dry what we will do now is try and file it. Let's see though. I know I said Vika, but maybe we'll make this into a Vika, who knows? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, that did not work at all. Not one bit. Okay. So I'm gonna do file this down and actually try to do the V cut because basically what it feels like is I did nothing. Whenever you file a client's nails, I'm just telling you guys things that I wish people told me, but I just have to figure it out, you know, watching videos and things, so. Anyways, whenever you wanna file a nail to make it straight here, always look at it like this from the client's view, because you always just wanna make sure that it is straight. Because it could look different from your view than it does for their view. So you always just wanna make sure 
that what you see is what they see or what they see is what you see too you know what i'm trying to say all right but now what i'm gonna do is i guess use that same color and try with the v I hope you guys see that it actually does marble. It's fine though. But like they're still usable. So that's what matters. They are pretty nice and buttery and creamy, I guess. Because it is definitely moving. But I am tapping a little too hard. You gotta be a little bit lighter. The way I'm tapping is kinda hard. But I'm just tapping to move it down. Okay, guys, I know you, I'm sorry, I'm really trying to focus and make this right, but you guys are seeing what I see, right? I'm really like trying my best. Let's cover this up. Okay, we'll have to go back and cover some more, no worries. What I want to do is build on this piece because it is super thin. messing up guys sheesh this is hard I forgot I'm trying to do it all with the brush Okay, looks, oh, don't touch, because I just messed up right there, but, oh, shoot, oh my gosh, tap, 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, I keep hitting the camera in my head, I'm so sorry, okay, this is not super thick, but I think it's thick enough. If not, I'll add some more to it so that way we can file. But let's check on the other hand, should be dry. And don't worry, I will go back in and fix that right there. But let's go back into this. Still not dry.
Guys, this was the first attempt. I know I could have made the this part come out more, but I am trying. I'm sorry, I wish, like, if you guys are watching, like, I wish I could communicate with you guys, but we're working on it, okay? All right, so. I have my own homemade swipe. I watched some videos, it says that swipe is basically alcohol and, oops, alcohol and nail polish remover, so we'll see, I don't know. But I'm just trying to clean up the nail, get all the dust out of here. And then we're gonna go in with the white and see how we go from there. Here's our white. Okay. I have a too too much of a white bead because it just slid all the way down. No worries though, it did all the work for me. Just so we can move some of that product back up. So, sorry guys, I'm like so concentrated, but when you do your client's nails, you obviously can't remove their fingertips. <laughs> so, always make sure you're cleaning around the cuticle, like right here. I try to not do this part of the nail anymore, I used to, but I try not to just so it could be a little bit more realistic, like an actual hand. Right, we're gonna have to... Oh. All right, I'm gonna use my good monomer because I can't use the MMA. This monomer is for nail supply glamour. And it's only not clear because I have acrylic in the monomer. guys so that is what we're gonna do i'm going to actually add a little bit more white right there just because it's not quite even and then once we add the white right there we're gonna let it sit we're gonna file and then encapsulate in clear okay so that was for this now i am not um upset about it i think it came out quite nice
I know I could be using my other paper towels, but I just, whenever I practice, I don't go fast hard as I do when I don't, when I do actual people's nails. I probably should though. I used to, but I just don't want to use that product anymore. Okay. So boom, we did this. Shorts bent all the way up. All right, so now, oh, it's still wet. All right, well, while we wait, I have monomer little bead in there. So let's get that out. So much wasted acrylic. Jeez, it's huge. Ooh, so fun. All right. In the garbage. All right. Now, as we wait, I don't know. It's taking forever. This is speed white though, so this should probably be dry before this, which is crazy, but that's just how it works. Um, so let me think of any other tips that I might have for you guys. Um, if you're um, wanting to take clients and you're not taking any, just take them. Because the only way you'll be ready is if you actually start, you know? And my first, my first set was not my best set at all, but it also wasn't my worst. Well, it, no, it wasn't my worst set either, you know? So just believe in yourself. I'm only three months into my journey and taking clients and learning every time I do, you know? So don't give up on yourself, seriously. Seriously, because the only way you get better is by doing it. So, come on. I just want, sorry, I hit it again. I just want you guys to know the reason why I can't file too well is because it's not thick enough. This side is kind of thicker. I'm trying to make it flush and even. Sorry, it's that TikTok like my hand. You guys know it. I swear you do. It's that DF four four seven two two two. That's my part. I don't know. Please don't quote me. Please don't even. Don't even listen to me. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm just trying to focus. I keep saying that. Bull, bull, do. Alright. 
DL two two seven four six five. I said, stop. I think we're, I think we're pretty good. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for a little bit. While we let that dry, I don't know. While we let that dry, we're gonna work on the other one. Shave and file. Shave and file is what I said, not shape and file, shave. Although it should be shape and file. All right. So this is it. it. Has to be dry, please. You have to be. See? Speed white. Speed white is actually speedy. All right, now let's just. Honestly, for this part, I don't even want to use my hand. I just rather use my e file. Sheesh. It's not bad, but it's not great, you know? I did expect more, but let me use my file, my e-file. Because me filing it, I don't know. Can you see that? There's like a look. Yeah, you see that. Slow down. now is just put some clear cap on top and shape the file our clear that we're going to use is also from young nails and it is also speed clear so should be fast because I'm, I'm i'm over this now lol smiley face Now we have an apex. So per, so per. Alright, we put our clear on top. We're gonna shape and file once it dries. 
In the meantime, we are going to soak this brush in some acetone because it is getting crusty dusty. Oops. How do you clean your brush? Dip in acetone and wipe. Dip in acetone and wipe. Dip in acetone. You could even leave it in acetone. But I left it in acetone and this is what happened to my brush. Just because when you leave it in acetone, you're not supposed to leave it in all the way up here. Leave it in like that and leave some space because it will mess up your brush. And my brush is messed up. So lesson learned. All right. This piece should be dry. Even if it's not dry, we're putting this down because we got no time to wait. Oh, all right, stop. The recut though is not looking so bad, so that's good. Guys, I'm still a beginner, so the way I handle acrylic. Please don't comfort me, is what I'm trying to say. Y'all, so let me tell you some cheese Is that the right word? Cheese Some tea. So there's this girl. I found her on somebody else's TikTok. This girl was just doing a practice set of nails on herself. And she was like, I'm gonna go live on Instagram, who would come watch? I was being nice, I'm like, sure, I'll come watch. I didn't know she was younger, I thought she was still our age, but, on well, my age. But she wasn't, no big deal, I didn't care. And I went on there, I was being nice. We were having little conversations and stuff. I joined another one of her lives once, cause we ended up following each other afterwards. And you know, we had some cool conversations. She was like, oh, I love this girl, Breezy, she's so nice. She's always being so nice to me, blah, 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 blah. Cool, cause I'm always trying to be nice, no big deal. So then, I posted something one time. She gave me some constructive criticism. Okay, cool, thanks. Then she posted something one time. I gave her some constructive criticism. And she goes, thanks, I bought some, some, something, something, whatever. Then goes on my page. And the last client, the last client I had, I cut her. But I put it in my caption that full transparency, I did cut her and yeah so then she goes why is she bleeding because guys you gotta see it it's actually kind of funny because it's my cousin so it's funny and she never got her nails done so it's, it's funny because i kind of traumatized her but she'll get them done again don't worry guys it was not that bad <laughs> but it's still funny anyways so yeah i posted it she said that and i was like because i cut her weirdo because like i just knew she was trying to be petty like I was literally just give you constructive criticism because that's what she does to me. Like, come on, I'm not trying to judge you, girl. And so I called her weirdo and she was like, why are you calling me a weirdo? She was like, it looks like it hurts. And I'm like, girl, like I literally said it. I didn't respond after that because I'm like, I'm not going to argue. But I'm like, girl, I literally said it in my caption of the photo. Like I cut her, like, come on. But it is what it is. No big deal. All right, while this dries, shouldn't take too long. Shape and file, shape and file, shape and file. I'm so over this, guys. I hope you guys are like just as over it as me. Like, shit. Come on, just stay on there. Guys, these practice hands suck. I kind of like the practice fingers a little bit better because you don't deal with these problems. It's a different type of problem. Ay, ay, ay. Like the nail pops off, like the fake finger doesn't do that. That's, that joint sticks and that's it until you rip it off unless you don't glue it right. But. Oh my gosh. I literally can't. I'm literally getting frustrated. Can you tell? I can tell.
GL227654. This is literally getting on my damn nerves. OMG. This is not too bad. Could use work, but it's really not that bad. First try, I did pretty good actually. It just needs some buffing and a clear and a clear coat gel. This is my practice buffing, that's why it looks so dingy and like crap. When I buff my client's nails, I buff like this underneath the nail. And I buff like this, just so it's not too sharp. Because I hate when I leave the nails on and my nails are too sharp. Like, I don't like that. So I always just try to buff in the places that I wish they buffed. Okay. Better, we have a little apex going on. Usually when I do practice this, I don't even worry about the apex, but. Doing some new things today. All right, now let's get on with the other one. It's not dry. Wow. It's a long way down. And I say, oh, you're gonna let it show. And I'll just let go of everything. Holding back our dreams and try to make it come alive. Come on, let it try. Let it come. How long has this been, guys? I'm sorry if it's taken too long for you. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, it's been an hour. You're sorry, sorry. Why is it not meeting? Oh, that's why. Okay, guys. Well, literally almost done, I swear. I wish it took me this long to do a set though. You see, it's taking me an hour and some change to do a practice set. Just imagine my client sitting in my chair for hours. I'm just trying to clean the back of the nail while we wait. But it's not working. All right, is this dry yet? No. Man, too bad. E file time.
This is my Shein file, by the way. Pretty good file. It was only 5, 10, 15, 20. I don't know. It was five in a pack, I think, of two. For two dollars is what I'm trying to say. Somebody, somebody else, somehow, someday, some way, somebody. filing with e-file because I will literally kill this now let's just file it up the key points of this is to know that we did try I had to switch files though because I am going to literally die if I keep using this these are just my practice files So I had to take can you fucking tell? <coughs> okay. Stop. show and I just let go of everything I know you guys think I know I just said I was gonna be done but I gotta fucking do it okay 
And then what I'm gonna do for this, for extra that was like, is I'm just going. Hold on, I wanna make sure I should have, okay. I am going to. Puts rhinestones because I don't like how the V looks. So if I put rhinestones, cover it up. And I'm not putting a clear thing of acrylic on this because I don't want to. And I'm going to do it because it's all right here in front of my face. But I don't want to. Okay. All done. All right. Let that dry real quick. We're gonna add a rhinestone right there. Let me throw this away, and we can keep on keeping on. But we are gonna add some rhinestone just to make it look better. These, we didn't even use them, so that's great. And we're all out of Young Nails Monomer. Ooh. Just kidding, that's not something to celebrate. Ooh, I hate what Monomer does, like, makes everything all sticky and stuff. I don't like that feeling. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm trying to put all this away. And then we can get into the jewels. And then we can get into ending the live. While we wait for this to dry, I'm just gonna clean off my brush. Like I said, you dip in acetone, you wipe. Dip in acetone, you wipe. Dip in acetone, you wipe. Like I said, you can leave it in there if you want, but. Did I switch them already? I don't even know. So sorry guys about that brief pause. We're just famous and people like to call. So I'm just kidding. But... Alright, alright, where did the jewels go? Okay. So before, I know some people, which is a good idea, they use their gel as glue. But I don't do that. I just used glue and before I was using my brush on glue but because that brush on glue is no more we're using KDS and this is our wax pencil from Shein all right I think it's pretty good it's probably already <gasps> oh it's probably already stuck so all right now this needs to be ay 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 shaped and fine. Oh jeez. There's so much things that need to be into nails. Like I'm just so over it right now. Good news is we're almost done. Top coat, top coat. I used this top coat because it was cheap on Amazon and I think it's pretty nice. It works pretty good. I just think I 
need a little bit of a bigger bottle but otherwise it's good i like it comes with the base coat and everything All right, so we're gonna put this under the lamp for 60 seconds. And then we will, hopefully the other place, the other thing is dry. So that we can finish, man, buff and finish. And just be done, I'm over this. Okay. Don't mind these, I'm just trying to clean them out with acetone. All right. All right, let me think of some things. All right, I don't know, but honestly, like, I'm just tired, I worked today. I'm just over it, wanna lay down, watch my shows. I feel like it's late in the day. I just wanted to please you guys and go live, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, done. All right, so that's the final look for this one. Looks not, it doesn't look bad at all. Good first attempt, that's what I can say. And it's nice and dry, cool. All right, so. All right, next one. Please, dude. Okay. It's dry. I'm taking this one off for right now. We'll put it back on later. And we're just gonna put the rhinestones, like I said, because these lines aren't as crisp as I wanted them to be. But the rhinestones might look cute, so. might just tie together nicely. That was a long filing buffing process. Oh, and the party never ends. All right, now that party is over, hopefully. Oh, my glue just fell over. <gasps> I just spilled it. Oh, shoot. Okay, all is well, all is good. All right, dust, 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 dust the whole nail off, please. Just we don't want no unnecessary dust coming. Ouch. All 
All right, now let's get our jewels. We are running out of jewels, so I gotta refill them, 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 or just buy some. I just don't want to get into the jewel mess because jewels are expensive. Jesus. All right. There's two more jewels in there. Now we just make sure they're all flipped the right way. Get our glue. All right. Could be straighter, huh? Oh, you guys can't see. Could be straighter though. Could be worse. Let's just add some more glue. I haven't heard anything about the Black Widow movie, so I'm just assuming that it was not good. Honestly. The trailer and like when it was supposed to come out for 2020 looked good, but this trailer just does not look good. It looks like they changed it or something. But I could be wrong, they could have kept the whole thing. Come on, there it is, shine so that he can see. Reach for my hand, cause it's held out to you. My shoulders are strong, but you can cry. Oh my. Oh. I don't have enough jewels for this, guys. So, taking that as a sign. We'll just do this one. Everything changes, but one thing is to understand. Will always be more than a band. My shoulders are strong, but you can cry if I love to. This is what we finished with because we ran out of jewels. And I don't feel like refilling them right now. I feel like finishing. So, top coat time.
All right, guys, all we're doing is waiting for the final review, a reveal, and then that is it. So then I'm ending this live. I hope you guys are cool with that. Because I'm doing it regardless. But we'll put this one back on so you guys can see the full final effect. But that is it. Oh my gosh, that is it. My shoulder is a shock, but you can cry on me too. Everything changes. Final review. Don't look, guys. It's a secret. Okay. 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 These are our final two. What do you guys think of them? Could be worse. Could be better. This one could have jewels on both sides, but you know we ran out, so we just have to bear. We have to do what we have to do. Let me change the light. Maybe this will look better. I don't know. Strange one. Yeah, no, that looks about the same. But yeah, that's what the finished look is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching if you watched. Okay. Adios.